सो हे गाइज अगेन वेलकम इन माई चैनल विच इज़ टेक टू टू एड सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कॉपी फाइल्स फ्राम लोकल मशीन टू रिमोट मशीन विद एस सी पी एंड आर सिंग कमांड एंड द स्टेप टू वी विल डाउनलोड फाइल्स फ्राम रिमोट मशीन टू लोकल मशीन विद एस सी पी एंड आर सिंग कमांड सो लेट्स नो अबाउट वॉट इज एस आर सिंग एस सी पी कमांड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सो बोथ सो आर सिंक एंड एस सी पी बोथ आर कमांड लाइन टूल फॉर कॉपिंग फाइल्स एंड डायरेक्टरीज बिटवीन लोकल मशीन टू रिमोट मशीन सो बिफोर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट टू डेज वीडियो आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू समथिंग अबाउट माई चैनल आई एज वेल मेक वीडियोज ऑन ए डब्ल्यू एस अजोर वेब होस्टिंग डोमेन होस्टिंग लाइन एक्स डॉकर क्यूबर नेटिव एंड एसट्रेट्रा सो इफ यू आर गाइज विलिंग टू वर्क ऑन दीज टेक्नोलॉजीज और यू आर ऑलरेडी वर्किंग ऑन दीज टॉक टेक्नोलॉजीज सो यू यू मस्ट हैव टू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल टू गेट द न्यू वीडियोज नोटिफिकेशन वेरी फर्स्ट सो लेट्स नो अबाउट डिफरेंसेज बिटवीन आर सिंग एंड एस सी पी कमांड सो दिस कमांड इज मोस्टली यूज मोस्टली आस्केबल कमांड इन फॉर इन द इंटरव्यू so they ask what is difference between the uh, r sync and uh, scp command so scp does copy files and directories in secure way we use for scp basically it is a plain liner copy scp read the source files and write it to the destination secure copy scp use ssh to copy only the files and directories that you select it uses sc uh, ssh for data transfer and uses the same authentication and provides the same security as ssh so rsync uh, rsync is a command used for moving and synchronizing files and directories with this command we can manage files and directories effectively while backing up data and regular basis basically rsync compare if there any differences between the older files and directories so rsync uh, rsync will uh, cop, uh, copy or moving the uh, data uh, Uh, um recursively uh, recurs- uh, recursively uh, move the data from local machine to remote machine so let's uh, uh, so let's do trial on uh, our linux machine so in the uh, in the left side i have my local machine so in the right side i have my remote machine uh, this is my ubuntu machine which is uh, hosted on aws so uh, so first of all uh, i will go in my local machine which is in uh, left tab and here i have a backup.zip name file in my uh, local machine folder so this is my folder location home ubuntu and local machine and i will upload this backup.zip file uh, which is in my local system and i will upload in uh, onto the server server uh, is exist in my right tab so here this is my uh, server so i will check uh, i will run the pwd command for the getting the present working directory and so this is my uh, present working directory path and i will run the ls command and will check uh, is anything else uh, already exist on my uh, this folder or not so there is uh, nothing uh so th- uh, this directory is completely blank and i will upload uh i will upload this file uh, on on my remote machine so let's uh, start so first of all uh, i will use with the uh, scp command so i will uh, write the syntax complete syntax here so this is the scp and after that i uh, we need to uh, we need to write our file name which is backup.zip and after that we have to write the user uh, remote machine username which is ubuntu and at the rate need to write, uh, write the at the rate symbol and after that need to put the uh, ip or domain name so i will paste the ip address so this is my ip uh, remote server ip address i will write here and after that sorry and after that i will write the uh, i will um, uh, add the colon and after that we need to write the remote server path where we uh, we have to upload this uh, backup.zip name folder so i will go in my remote machine and i will run the pwd command so i want backup.zip folder on uh, on 
on my remote machine on the uh, remote machine uh, directory so i will copy this uh, remote machine path and i will paste there and after that i will run the command so it will uh, okay so my backup dot uh, zip file is moved uh, on the remote machine i will check there ls okay so that's great my backup dot uh, zip file was in my remote uh, local server and now it is in uh, my remote server and after that i what i will do so uh, uh, so this task we have done by the scp command and now i will do the same but uh, command will be the different and the command is rsync so uh, we will uh, we will do it again by the rsync command so uh, i will writing the r uh, command which is r s y n c r sync hyphen a v z h so you need to add this flag and after that uh, need to write your file name let's suppose uh, uh, backup dot zip and after that you need to write the uh, remote server username which is ubuntu and again the same uh, symbol uh, at the right symbol after that need to put the ip ip is 428 uh, 54821 dot uh, 128 and after that uh, after uh, the ip address need to add again a symbol which is colon and need to write the path i will again copy this path from my uh, remote machine so i will run the pwd command it will get the uh, present working directory so this is my present working directory and i will uh, paste into it my uh, local machine so again i will do the same so it will again move my uh, data from local machine to remote machine and this is the rsync command benefit so it is uh, saying like sending incremental file list and backup dot zip send 106 byte receive 41 and the time is 22.62 uh, second okay and i will check there so uh, this is uh, okay so uh, this backup dot zip file is in uh, now my remote machine so uh, I think we have already done uh, uh, we have already uploaded this uh, folder by scp command in the same directory and again we have done the same task but uh, I think this is very uh, this is little bit confused for us so uh, what I will do uh, now I will do I will change the directory path so I will go in my root uh, home ubuntu and I will check here is the backup dot zip file exist or not so it is not uh, it is already not and now i will again run the pwd command and copy that path and i will again uh, paste this command and but in this time i will change the directory path of my remote machine so which is home slash ubuntu and i will click on enter so this is sending and now uh, it is completely sent and now I will check on my home and Ubuntu directory so okay so that is great I have downloaded the uh, backup.jf file uh, um, uh, uploaded on my remote server so we have done uh, the uploadation part of uh, the uh, of scp and rsync command so now we are going to our step 2 which was uh, downloading files from remote server to local machine with the scp and rsync command okay so now we are mm, going to start the downloading process from remote machine to our local machine okay so let's suppose uh, i will uh, this is the example uh, so i will go again I will go my remote server uh, like remote machine directory and here I will make a test directory let's suppose test dot txt or yeah text folder and I will make it a make it a zip test 
test.zip and test okay i think we need to uh, install the zip folder okay so uh, this time i will not uh, go with the uh, archive file or uh, any kind of zip so uh, this time we will uh, download a simple file from a remote server to a local server okay so i am making a i am creating a simple file a uh, simple txt file uh, so the touch command will create a, a blank file so uh, touch uh, let's suppose server 123.txt so this file i have created on my uh, remote machine now i will uh, now i am going to download this file on my uh, local machine so this is my local machine and I, I will write the ls command so there is only two files one is zip and another one is open so at the rate ip uh, okay so there uh, there are only two files and i will uh, i will download the server 123.txt file from my remote machine on in my uh, local machine so let's do it so first of all uh, for this uh, for the downloading process we need to write the again scp command and the scp and the username is ubuntu and the ip address is uh, i have pasted on my notepad so i will copy from it and i will paste it again there and after that we need to write the complete path so uh, uh, scp and the username is ubuntu at the rate forward slash home and ubuntu this is my remote server path and uh, i want uh, i will come i will copy the complete part so this is the remote server i will add this path also okay so remote machine and after that i will use uh, forward slash and my file is server 123.txt which is on my remote server and i will based on uh, my com uh, in my command and so scp and this is this, this command uh, okay so i will use the dot um, uh, dot symbol uh, for the dot symbol it will download on the my uh, on my current tab on my current location so just click uh, just enter on it uh, cannot state home ubuntu uh, i think i uh, i did mistake uh, something mistake uh, okay 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 uh, sorry guys uh, I, I have done a mistake I, I i forgot to add ip address after uh, the username so i will again copy and the paste username uh, sorry ip address and the ip address is uh, 54 82 1 128 no issue i will write manually which is for 54 dot 82 dot 1 dot 128 okay and after the ip address in the right side we need to add the colon and then i will enter okay so that's great it is uh, the file is downloaded from the server and now this file in my local machine which is server 123 um, 123 at the rate okay server 123.txt file and i will use the another command which is rsync for the same task so i will do it on my uh, uh, on my ubuntu path home ubuntu which uh, this is my local machine i will download the same file on my uh, lo local machine okay so i will uh, copy uh, I, I will copy the same syntax which i have uh, used in scp so i will write just write the r r sync rsync hyphen a v z h and the username is ubuntu and need to write the uh, at the rate symbol and after that i uh, ip address of server and the colon after that the remote server path and this is done 
okay so that's great now i have downloaded this file from the server location so uh, i think guys uh, we have done for this uh, today's video and uh, one more thing i will uh, i will copy all the rsync command uh, on my uh, youtube description so if you guys want to copy from uh, if you if you guys want to copy uh, this command so you can uh, cop easily copy from the description and uh, uh, that's all for this video and hope you enjoyed this tutorial video and you will like uh, comment and subscribe my channel if you have any questions please ask your question in comment section below i will uh, i will reply and i will try to solve your problems and etc that's all for this video see you in next tutorial video thanks